This is an audio-visual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. Hamstring tendon and patellar tendon autografts are both commonly used in anterior cruciate ligament or ACL reconstruction. These two autografts are not directly comparable because factors like fixation, anatomy, and tendon diameter vary between them. However, there is no consensus on which autograft type is better for improving success rate, limiting the occurrence of adverse events, and restoring stability. Researchers hypothesized that an increase in diameter of both hamstring and patellar tendon grafts would reduce the risk of early ACL revision. To confirm this hypothesis, they decided to conduct a retrospective study analyzing the early ACL revision rate among patients treated with hamstring and patellar tendon autografts of different diameters. They used prospectively collected data from the National Lee Ligament Registries of Norway and Sweden and included 18,425 patients who underwent primary ACL reconstruction from 2004 through 2014. The relative risks of graft type and graft diameter were determined as the two-year cumulative incidence of ACL revision. They found that in the study group, the two-year rate of ACL revision was 2.10% overall, with a rate of 2.63% for patients treated with patellar tendon autografts and 208 for patients treated with hamstring tendon autografts. Among the patients treated with hamstring tendon autografts, there was an increased risk of ACL revision among those whose autografts were of a diameter less than 8 mm, compared with those with larger autografts. What's more, treatment with a large hamstring tendon autograft of diameter greater than or equal to 9 or 10 mm reduced the risk of ACL revision compared with treatment with a patellar tendon autograft of any size. Together, these findings indicate that graft type independently does not affect ACL revision risk, but a larger HT autograft diameter is shown to decrease the revision risk.